Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video today we'll talk about what is found, a supposedly new found of the uh, fragments, perhaps as old as Islam, perhaps. Uh, you know, Muslims, they made a lot of videos, TV stations talk about it, uh, Jazeera TV, Al Arabiya TV, all the famous TV stations, Muslims around the earth, like, wow, Allah, Akbar, brother, big deal. All what they found, two pages, which is one side, which means it's not even make one page of the Quran today. And it's not even full page. So what is the big deal about this, what it's called a new discovery? It's a big deal for me, honestly, because this discovery prove Islam to be false. If what they are saying in this study is correct, Islam is false indeed. First of all, uh, those uh, 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 document what they found it's not according to the to the study itself it says that it's very similar very similar read with me very similar indeed to the Holy Quran as we have it today so it's not the same it's very similar very close to but it's not exactly the same and that is a problem because uh, are we talking about the quran never being changed not even one letter or we are talking about very similar and very close either it is exactly the same or that will be a problem so from the beginning we have a problem because it's very similar this is why you see the Muslims, they quote for you from the pages only few verses they found it's similar. But the rest of them, they don't want to translate. And I will show you that here. Actually, I was trying to, to, to find uh, uh, the document as it is so I can read myself. So you will see here the translation, they translate only 17, 18, and 19 and 20 all right when the rest disappear all right uh, however uh, if you look with me in the document or let us say the first the study mentions something very dangerous too first they are saying that this study the accuracy of the date is 95 percent accurate which means it's very, very close to be accurate. I will go with science and I will say they are right, it's 95% accurate. But that will cause a huge problem for the Muslims. Why? You see, people do not notice where is the problem. Uh, 568, Muhammad was not born yet. Muhammad was born in 570. You can go and check the age by yourself. He was born in 570 and he died in 632. All right. So Muhammad, he died. Uh, he was born two years after the date we see in the study. And he died in 632. What does that mean? What if it is, what happened is the following, that this document is exist before Muhammad exists. That will make Muhammad copying from the book of someone and this is the only solution for this issue. Why? Because 568 is the possible start date of this document then Muhammad he was not announcing himself as a prophet for the coming 40 years after so if Muhammad was born 570 and then he announced himself as a prophet at uh, uh, the age of 40 that will make it 610 610 the date where Muhammad he became a prophet now we know with the Quran was not even collected in the time of Muhammad, was collected in the time of Uthman ibn Affan. 
Now Uthman, he did not collect the Quran until he became a Khalifa. But when Uthman became a Khalifa, let us see. Uthman became a Khalifa at the year 644. And the Quran was not collected right away and became a book. It took a took long time. Actually, he did not start collecting the Quran after the many war happening. The, those who they called companion of the Prophet, they started dying, killed in, 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 the, in the war. So few years after he decided to collect the Quran. So at least at least he decided to, to, to collect the Quran at maybe six, uh, maybe 650, which is after the date we see in the document. But let us say for the sake of argument, the first day of man, he became a Khalifa, he started collecting the Quran. That will make it 644. But according to the study, maximum is 645. So we have to ignore all the years before and assume that in this year, the Quran was collected and this document is coming in that year. Are you getting my point? If we, if we take 568 from 645, that will make it 77 years. So from the 77 years margin or a date, we have only one year chance to have this document to be from the time of Uthman. And that would be impossible to have because Uthman, he did not start collecting the Quran. He did not have the Quran finished right away. He, there's a lot of argument was happening. There's Quran of, uh, of, of uh, uh, Ibn Mas'ud, uh, Hafs, etc. There's many Quran and later he decided to burn them and Muslims are fighting over it. So it took him a few years. So the Quran was collected far away from the date we see in the screen. So this is document, if it is true, it must be written before Islam. Because as we said, it was possible that it is written before Muhammad was born. Muhammad was born in 570, and this is possible to be written in 568. And Muhammad, he was not a prophet for the first 40 years. That make it 42 years possible before Muhammad uh, became a prophet, this document exists. And then after that, we have uh, the Quran was not collected in the life of Muhammad. It was collected in the life of Uthman. And Uthman, I believe he was a Khalifa, I think, for 12 years, something like this. And he did not start doing collecting the Quran right away. It was a big argument with him. Maybe I will make a special video about this to show more details about when the Quran, how it was collected, date, etc. And there is, so this is the second problem. Number three problem. This, by, by the way, this is a huge problem because if this is, exists before Muhammad, this means Muhammad is copying from the book of somebody. And that explains why a Christian priest has this document. It might be Muhammad copying from old book made by somebody, exists before Islam. As we know, Waraq ibn Nufal, he used, the hadith says, Waraq ibn Nufal, he used to translate from the scriptures, from Aramaic to Arabic, as Allah, he wished him to, to translate. So it's possible that that is taken from the Aramaic people, and this is why an Aramaic priest is the one who has this document. Now, number three problem. If you look with me in the document here, for sure, none of you maybe speak Arabic, but those who speak Arabic, they will know what I'm talking about. This is the translation. This is the, the uh, Arabic today. And this is the Arabic old days. All right. Now, the Arabic old days, it does not have, I don't know, like you see the, you see the dots and those uh, 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 little things in the top of the words. Those are not exist here, supposedly. They should not be exist because those things is added in the time of Al-Hajjaj Ibn Yusuf al-Saqafi. He was like uh, the head of ISIS today. He was a big criminal. Uh, one of his speech, he said, 
to, to the Muslims, look, look what he said in the speech. He said, today I have many heads, they are fruits and ready to cut off. This is the kind of man he is. So this man, he ordered to add dots and movement to the letters to make it clear so people will not make mistakes when they are reading the Arabic uh, language. So since then, that started. Now when Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al-Thaqafi exists, let us see the date. He was ruling uh, between uh, uh, 660 and 714. And this is far away from the date we see in the screen there. It was 645. So this is, this is, this is long after that date. And if we go to the document, which mean, which mean what I'm trying to say to you here, this is the guy who add those movement to the letters, the dots. And let us see if the document, they have dots. And yes, they do. Which means there is no way that this document is exist in the time of Uthman ibn Affan. As an example, uh, I will take something very clear to, to show you. This is Qala Qala Al-Qiha. Qala Al-Qiha. You see the dots here? This should not be exist because at that time there was no dots. Same as here. And you will notice they cover the rest of it so we can read it. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, obviously it's not the same. So they have only, you know, like, I cannot read the rest. I cannot find the original document. Um, anyway, so you will see here, here there's a dot, here there's a dot, uh, here there's a tashkil, uh, here there's a dot, uh, here there's a dot, uh, it's all over, and that is impossible to have, because at that time there was no dots for the language. So what is the solution for this? You see, in the, in the old days, and uh, I, will, I, will, I will make it more clear for you what I'm trying to say. Uh, when they have all document, and this document is not needed, they wipe the old ink, and they write in the top of it. And that explains why you will see an old writing there. Let me see if I can copy the picture and zoom in. You will notice that there is there's a there's a writing there, old writing. We don't know what is that. There is something here was written, and it's gone. There's letters. You see, they are gone. They are wiped out. You see here. You see here. You see here. You see the word here. You see the word here. You see the word here. You see the word. You see the writing. This is something written before. There's something written before, and wiped out and written in the top of it. Why they used to do that? Because, you know, uh, uh, it's not like today, you, you know, you, you rip the paper and you grab a new one. It's very easy. This is very expensive material. This is leather. So it's costly. It's expensive. So they used to do always that. They get rid of all document. They don't need no more. And they write what is more important for them in the same leather in the top of it. What they did in the exam examination is, it was the leather, not the ink. So it's possible, this is the third possibility, that this is the age of the leather, not the age of the uh, uh, what is written there. And the proof of that easy. You see here, we, we see that. Ya Musa, you see here it says Ya Musa. Musa, uh, by the way, it's not written the same way today, today you know, like to, uh, the, uh, the Quran today, it doesn't say that. Yeah, Musa had come with Aleph. However, I will let it go. But you will see here there's a dot. You see this one? This is a dot. Yeah, Musa. Uh, you see it here. You see it? This is a dot. This is the letter Yeah. We add two dots underneath of it. And this is why it's big, it's connected. And to make it ya, yeah, all right? And here you will see the shkil. And here you will see the same. And here you see, the, uh, 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 so uh, uh, the uh, the dots is all over 
and that is a very clear proof that this is cannot be an old document as they claim.